Hi, my name is Natalia Buxbaum and I'm a pediatric oncologist. That's a doctor for children with cancer. When we make the diagnosis of cancer or monitor it during treatment, we use imaging modalities such as x-ray, CT scan, and MRI. MRI is the safest one of the three because it does not use any radioactivity. So we can tell the size of a tumor and where it is in the body by using the imaging modalities. However, when the tumor is really small like the size of a bean, we really can't tell it apart from normal structures. We need help. In those situations, we'll sometimes use a radioactively labeled sugar molecule. The reason why the tumor gets labeled up with that and stands out from normal structures is because tumors are very active tissues. They need lots of energy to divide and grow. And so when we use the tracer, it makes the tumor glow or stand out against normal structures. Now, I work on a different kind of label. It's not radioactive, but it does help us pick out the tumors from normal structures. The kind of label I use involves using a special kind of water. So a regular water will have one oxygen and two protons. The water I use is called deuterated water, and it has the same oxygen molecule here, but two deuterium atoms right here. Our body uses water every day to make energy molecules, so sugar, DNA, RNA, fat, and protein. So what we do then is we label up a tumor by giving this special deuterated water to an animal or a person. And then when they go inside the MRI scanner, the tumor stands out against the normal structures, but without radioactivity. For our experiment, we injected a small amount of human tumor cells into a leg of a mouse and left the other one as a control. We then gave the mouse deutery water to drink for seven days. While the tumor was growing, it took up the deuterium. We put the mouse inside the MRI scanner. The special coil or cradle that we put the mouse into fits into an MRI machine. This records for us regular MRI, which shows us the size of the tumor, and the deuterium MRI, which makes the tumor stand out from other tissues. Here are the results of the scan. Pretend we made a slice through the two legs of the mouse. That's what you're seeing in the blue square. This is a reference signal for deuterium. As you can see, the leg without the tumor has very little deuterium signal in it, and the leg with the tumor has the deuterium signal primarily coming out of the tumor region, making it stand out from the rest of the leg. Next, we'd like to test this imaging approach in the clinic. For that, we'll have the patient drink five ounces of deuterated water a day for seven days. After that, the patient will go inside the scanner, and then we'll see the tumor glow and stand out against normal structures. Now, we think this is a great step forward for MRI because it will allow us to make the tumor stand out and we'll be doing so without radioactivity, which is a safer and better way for both the patient and the doctor. Go Deuterons!